What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. We're actually going to be doing some minnow trapping, some bass fishing, and cat fishing in this video. I don't know, guys. It's just, just going to be a really long video. But the first step to this is catching our bait for the catfish, and we're going to go minnow trapping. The bait I'm using, just white bread, and then we'll go here and check out the minnow traps. Here's the traps. Just basic minnow traps here. Mm. Why are you going crazy for? Chill. Anyways, for these minnow traps, we'll do what? Two pieces of bread a piece. Then we'll head on down to the ponds where we're going to be trapping. Who is that? Sounds ugly. It's Chad. Kind of got tired of listening to Chad's scream, so I just came out here and threw some corn. And now the chickens and everything, they're just sitting here eating. It's kind of cool. It's like a giant feeding frenzy of all species. Except it's only two species, but you get the point. Anyways, guys, let's head on over here, get the minnow trap. Let's go set them in the creek. We don't want to waste any time because I'm probably going to come back and check them about 8 o'clock, and right now it's 2. So if we set them out right now, we have 6 hours to try to catch some minnows. Okay, guys, pulling up to location number one where we was going to set the minnow traps. My old pond, but uh, it's looking kind of nasty. Plus, it's like super grown up. And it's like a 10-foot drop to the water. So, we're just going to put both these traps down in my other pond. Now, we're at the second position. This is the actual pond. I'm going to set one minute trap right there, one trap, minute trap on this side. That should be spaced out enough. There we go. Mm. Anyways, we're back at the pond right now. First, what we're going to do is check the minnow traps. Then after that, we're going to do a little bit of bass fishing with whatever we have in this month's mystery tackle box. Anyways, going to pull out those good trusty shrimp bucket all the way from Florida. First, I'll get some water in it because I do think we'll catch some. My camera keeps fogging up. <sighs> Anyways, moment of truth. Here we go. First minnow trapping expedition of the year. And we got about three. And they are the size of an eraser. Ah, what a tragedy. I don't think that's bad. I think I have an idea of what I kind of want these guys to do. They're not going to be good bait. But what they are going to be good at is uh, eating mosquito larvae. Which have infested the pool pond. So now there's the first one. We'll go check the other one. Then we'll go ahead and start bass fishing. Yeah, we got about the same. Still really small. Not gonna work for actual catfish bait. We're gonna have to try again. Probably an with in an entirely different location. These, I don't know if you can see them. They're a little about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger, but still not what we're looking for. As for numbers, we got four. Okay, now onto the fishing. If you don't know, Mystery Tackle Box, it's a subscription-based company, and what they do is they send you like a box of bass fishing baits, or cat fishing, or pan fishing, or ice fishing, depending on which subscription plan you use, and they just send you a box full of fishing bait that you can just try out. Maybe you wouldn't have tried out otherwise. Like in this month's box, let's go through it real quick. We got headbangers, wobble heads, kind of like a jig texture freak thing. Next up, we have the thing which I'm actually going to use. It's a Guggen frog. And then right here, looks like we got a flat-sided crankbait right there. That's the cool thing about Mystery Tackle Box, is they send you a bunch of random stuff. If it's wintertime, they're going to send you baits that work in wintertime. If it's summertime, they're going to send you baits that work in the summertime. Like these right here. Looks like some kind of beavers from Gambler Baits. And then looks like we got two more things in here. One's a little jig, and then one is these Lake Fork wacky it says eat me on it and man, I don't want to offend flare so ah. he's great good job flare <laughs> amazing I really hope that was meant for the fish to eat because I do not see that selling in a human market I can tell you that right now just uh, try your best to look at me if you need anything just holler I don't think this will take long Showed you what gonna take long. If you want to get your own mystery tackle box, you can use cut promo code Grey Gang all caps. That's actually gonna get ten dollars off your first box, which is pretty good. Ten dollars is ten dollars. The link and promo code is down in the description. And one more time, Grey Gang all caps. It's getting pretty dark. I think I'm gonna have to call today, but don't worry, I'm coming back in the morning. I woke up five minutes ago. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm going home. I tell you what, man, this minnow trapping ain't an easy job. I've been at it for a pretty decent while now, and it's not getting any easier. That drought last summer really killed us. Anyways, we're going to go down to Old Reliable. Y'all have seen this spot hundreds of times. Probably get bit by a snake while I'm down here. We only need a couple of minnows, guys. We're just going to go in a pond. We're not going in the river anymore. Can't find enough bait, which is really weird. Never really had this problem before. But then again, it's 2020. What did I really expect? Oh, gosh, I'm going in. What's new? 
Mm, that ought to do it. If I don't do it, I don't know what we Anyways, do. guys, here's the plan. We're gonna come back in about one hour. Hopefully, we got a minter, dude. We only need one. If we got a minter, we'll use him, do a little bit of catfishing. If we don't have a minter, I don't know. Probably just come back in the morning. Watch till the end of the video, and I'll tell you one thing. You're gonna find out, okay? I mean, find a minter. Really, dude? You're gonna start barking now? <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, finding minners now is about like finding a Karen that don't complain. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Anyways, in the meantime, while the trap is working out there, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we're doing to the goat fence. We're making a massive upgrade. And I'm not just saying that, like, this is actually a massive upgrade. We are tripling the size of the current goat pen, which means after this upgrade, it can hold three times as many goats. Also, I wanna say, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Just, you know, I don't know, go ahead and subscribe, I guess. If you like the content, which you probably do if you've watched this far. But anyways, as you can see the goat pen, it goes from there and then it actually cuts straight back behind me and goes right there at that clear spot what we're gonna do is instead of cutting it off right here we're gonna keep it going right around here all the way down the hill i take that back the mountain this ain't no hill son we in kentucky straight home with the appalachia and now i got all you rocky mountain people making fun of me because my mountains are half the size of yours yeah they are but they're, they're still mountains okay anyways let's not get off topic it goes to about right there and then it cuts down I'm giving them this entire mountain. Now, if you know a lot about goats, you actually know that they like woods better than they do fields. Which is kind of weird since they like, I don't know, are vegetarians and stuff. But they really do. Like, they'd rather eat that vine than eat a good piece of grass. Except Chad. He prefers pop cans. But he's kind of weird. And we all know that. As far as you can see, the goats are going to have this new territory. And for all you guys wondering where the video was with the big animal, uh, just stay tuned. We actually haven't got them yet, and I thought we'd have them by now, but I don't know, okay? They're being stubborn, and they're big animals. You, you really can't do much about it. Transporting them has become a giant problem. Be sure you have those post notifications on, because that is a video you do not want to miss. But anyways, guys, it's been about an hour, so let's go on down, check the minute trap, see what we got. Okay, guys, moment of truth. It's been 24 hours. If we don't have a minute now, I'm probably just gonna quit. Delete my channel. Probably delete my second channel, too. <laughs> oh, ah. Anyways, the creek's kind of muddy. It rained a lot today, so, uh, man, I'll tell you what. If we ain't got one minute, I'm in trouble. Dude. Okay, we do. Okay, good, good, good. I was about to say, man, we ain't got many. Oh, they're so small. They're literally about the same size we got in the other pond, which is super small. But we did get one crawdad and one minner that might be okay. I mean, to be completely honest, guys, at this point, he's gonna have to be okay because we don't have any other options. And I'm already about two days late on this video so listen brother you're gonna get eaten by a catfish if i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys i was supposed to do this this morning but i also kind of forgot to wake up so we're just doing it now we're back at the pond uh my tripod's not gonna be that good because it's actually a piece of wood so you just gotta deal with it for a little while believe it or not i actually have a plan right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna catfish or bass fish which everyone wants to buy it honestly with those minners but i'm also gonna bass fish with these little things which i got in the mystery tackle box earlier that way in theory we should have twice the chance to catch a fish but remember what i said in theory theories can be wrong i mean some people actually think the earth is round it's flat you bunch of silly gooseys enough to touch high tub. Let's get to me worm. You know, dude, it's not a worm, it's a crawdad. Oh, my bad, Derek. Didn't know. Like I was saying, guys, he's really not big at all, but the thing is that he's our biggest, which today isn't really saying much. There he is compared to my hand. We're gonna name him Louise. It is on a bobber, by the way. Y'all may not be able to see the bobber, but that's okay, I guess. Then with this little wacky worm, come in here, right in the middle, and we are good to go. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, I think he's catfish. That's pretty good. Oh, my wacky worm's still in the water. Please don't get hung up in my wacky worm. That would be really bad. Oh, he's a big catfish. I'm kind of surprised that this big catfish kind of settled for such a little minner. That's like me sailing for a kid's meal at McDonald's. You best believe the lowest I'm going to go is a mighty kid's meal. Now, those things are no joke. I don't really care who you are. They're actually pretty good. I mean, I'm not trying to give you all a lecture while I'm trying to reel in this fish, but mighty kid's meals are probably the most underrated meal on the McDonald's menu. Okay, I need to just go ahead and get this guy in before he breaks me off or something. That's enough, Jordan. I'm tired of playing games. Come on up here, buddy. He could probably feed a large family of two. Come on, Jordan. You are one of us now. Welcome to the gray game. Hashtag Jesus. Do you uh, got anything planned or not? 
He didn't swallow a hook, but for some reason he's bleeding. Please don't bite me. If you bite me, I will eat you. And Mamie will eat you as well. Dude, you got the chill. You got the chill. Actually, I do have to give Jordan credit. He's actually being very polite and not really trying to attack me, so I don't really know what I'm complaining for. Anyways, everybody, uh, say goodbye to Jordan. We're gonna let him go back to... I don't know, fish land, Atlantis. Anyways, now we still have the wacky worm. Let's try to catch a bass on it because I would like to see a bass and a catfish in this video.